This is a presentation on business value of IT, an analysis of IT investment and revenue. At the present time, the use of information has become an instrumental tool to combat market-driven pressures imposed on businesses today. As leaders of healthcare organizations, it is important that the implementation of technology is made and that the technology used is effective, reliable, and productive. Initiated by the Bush administration, a goal to install electronic health records in American hospitals by 2014 has been solidified with inauguration of the Obama administration. This call for action will call for an increased demand on healthcare institutions to obtain and manage an electronic health record system of some sort. However, careful evaluation of these technologies should be conducted so that organizational leaders will be able to understand how potential technology and their business practice could result in favorable outcomes. The Veterans Health Administration operates our nation's largest medical system. It provides care to approximately 4.5 million patients, serving 170 hospitals, over 800 clinics, and more than 135 nursing homes at the present time. VISTA is an electronic health record system programmed by the Department of Veterans Affairs. EHRs are essential in improving the quality and management of healthcare delivery. VISTA focuses on clinical record keeping that improves patient care by improving clinical and administrative decision making. Versions of this system are already in use in organizations ranging from private to government institutions. Collected over a seven-year period, the data in Table 1 was received from the VA's VISTA system on October 16, 2007. The calculations have been taken from the budget of the information unit within the Veterans Administration and the number of patient records in the VISTA database. From the data given, a scatter diagram showing the relationship between IT investment, also known as the Budget of Office of Information, and the cost of care, known as the VHA cost per patient index has been analyzed. Measuring the strength and the direction of these two variables lies within a range of negative one and positive one. In this figure, we can see that a positive linear relationship between both IT investment and the cost of care have increased over time. However, even though a positive relationship is shown, we must look beyond the calculations to accurately interpret an association of a cause and effect relationship between the two variables. Because there are many reasons why both IT investment and cost of care have risen, double checking a causal association can help administrators identify whether the data analysis is truly reflective of an actuarial sequence affirming the results shown here. In this figure, the relationship between IT use and IT investment is analyzed. Since R squared is 0.58, halfway between 0 and positive 1, we can say that a moderate relationship exists between IT use and IT investment. In this figure, when analyzing the relationship between IT use and the cost of care, a relationship of 0.32 reveals that these two variables are the weakest relationship of IT investment, IT use, and the cost of care provided in the data given. In this table, you can see that the closer each correlation is to one, the stronger the relationship is between each variable. However, even though correlations may be close to one, it should not be assumed that the results are causal of one another. It just means that a strong relationship exists. During data evaluation, administrators should remember that there are external factors such as economic pressures, management styles, and human capital changes that could factor in for why a positive relationship has or hasn't been formed. To resolve our dilemma of identifying whether IT investment leads to cost of care or vice versa from this data, by taking the difference of each correlation and multiplying it to its product, we see that the below sequences are closer to zero rather than one, meaning that we can no longer claim causality between IT investment and cost of care, and that the claim generation of revenue is not true. 
In essence, we know that the organization was already productive. Nonetheless, although IT investment was not causal for increased cost of care, in this case, by doing counterfactual evaluation of comparing similar data with comparable organizations, administrators will be able to make informed decisions on what investments they should and shouldn't make in the future. Although investment and revenue typically are correlated, this analysis reveals that IT investment and cost of care are not causal. In certain situations, IT investment may increase as revenues increase and may decrease when revenues fall, but would need to be analyzed on a situational basis per each organization. Investment in IT is often claimed to improve quality of care, improve access to care, or increase productivity. However, because a small sample of data was given and a short period of data was examined, there is room for further study on whether IT investment can generate greater revenue down the line if more detailed information could be given for future analysis.